before I send you on your way, I wanted to show you how to use this plan to mark out things in the garden. When I do circles on the plan, one of my main reasons for using the circle template is that I can place this circle template back onto the drawing and find the center of it. So here is the center of the patio and I can go in with my ruler, my scale ruler, and I can see that from the edge of the circle to the center is eight feet. And I will write eight feet on the plan or I can just measure it and know that that's eight feet. However, once I've marked it on here, the other great thing is that I can measure how far that center is from the wall of the house. So here's where I can see that it's about 11 and a half feet from the wall of the house. And if I've measured the edge of my window fairly accurately, I would know that I would be starting from the edge of the window, 11 and a half feet out. And if I wanted to check that, I would measure to the corner of the house, which is also 11 feet. So I'll get my tape measure outside, I'll measure 11 feet over, 11 and a half feet out, and there's the center of my patio. And then I would get, usually I'd put a nail in the ground right here and attach my tape measure to that nail. So I might put the, the nail right through the, that hole at the end of the tape measure and measure over eight feet. And then what I can do is use a can of spray paint and make a dot right here and then I can I can turn and make a series of dots all the way along the radius or the outside edge of this at the eight foot radius. So this is also eight feet and this is eight feet. And I will take that circle all the way out, out to here and all of a sudden I have a paint mark on the ground that shows me where the patio is. So easy to do and so fun. So next thing I would do is to Find out where the edge of the house is along the sidewalk. So you can see I'm lining up with the wall of the house here and I'm pulling that line out provided there aren't too many things in the way and finding out where this spot is on the sidewalk. And then I'll measure over from that place, eight, nine, ten, ten and a half feet is this part and 16 is this part and I can mark my paint dots right here. Now it's starting to seem a lot easier to figure out where everything is. Then I will take a straight line that will come from perhaps a spot like this right beside where the landing railing is and I will put my tape measure there and I will say one step's at five feet, one step, step is at six and a half. It crosses right here at 17 and a half. And it crosses the walkway again at 26. And then I'm out here. And then I might do that on the other side of the door where I have the other railing. So the edge of the patio is at six feet. It crosses that sidewalk at 16 and again at 24. So now I have these dots that are starting to show up. And you will find it really easy to play connect the dots from here. Keeping in mind that we wanted to have a four foot wide walkway will also keep us a little bit on track. And that is how easy it is to lay out what seems like a very complicated walkway pattern. And then you can use your same, your same line to bring it down to right to the street if you wanted to. So you're all lined up here and you can find this spot So we're going to say it's about three and a half or two and a half feet over is this one and 10 feet over is this one. So 
that is how easy it is to lay out even something that's way out from the house. Always just find a nice straight line and be as perpendicular to the house as you can or lined up with the wall of the house is, is often even better because it's easy to go a little bit off kilter here when you're just kind of floating around from a, from a, a wall like that. But at least a close up, I think you can be fairly close but as you get further away, I think it's more important to line up with the wall of the house and then measure over from that spot. Then you know you're nice and perpendicular. So going into the back garden, here's what we're going to do again is create a straight line in line with the garage wall. We can see that the flower bed is at four and the walkway is at 13 and this planter is coming out. We would probably measure the planter out from the house here. It's five feet out. So you will have a series of paint dots here. And then how do you get this curve? Once again, you put your circle template onto back onto your plan. You need a sharp pencil to do this, but you can find the radius is right here, or the center of the circle rather is right here and you can plot the radius is 12 feet. But we still have to find where this dot is, so it is being measured about four feet from, from the wall of the garage and eight feet from the corner. So you'll measure over eight feet, out four, and then you will use the nail in the tape measure technique and do yourself a paint line that will take you all the way to this spot right about here where you can see the curve changes. And you don't necessarily have to find the center of this one, although you could. You could say, oh, here's the center of this circle and, and mark on this radius. However, we are trying to meet the corner of this planter, so in this case, I would probably just pull, pull these curves in. And another big element that we're trying to plot is the hot tub and six feet out from here. So three feet from the corner, six feet out would be that corner of the hot tub. And you might plot this one too, say that's at 12 feet out and nine feet from the corner. And then you will have your, your hot tub angle plotted and that's where this curve is going to meet as well coming into the planter. So the nice thing about knowing what the radius of this curve is would be that you would get that curve happening really nicely. Must have been the other one here. Because um, our tendency would, would be to flatten this curve out. If we just did it by hand, we'd be kind of like this. And our walkway all of a sudden gets gets more flattened out and not as interesting of a curve. So again, this is one more thing that keeps you honest. You're just kind of sticking with your plan and it's all working out really well. When we're looking at, at figuring out where things are, you're either going to line up with the wall of the garage and start from there, measuring to this spot and this spot and this spot, or you're just going to come right out from the that back corner of the fence and say it's at 32 and 38 and that sort of thing. So having a grid is a lovely thing. You're going to enjoy how easy it is to plot everything out and you're going to be very pleased with the overall effect of the design as well. I hope you have enjoyed this course and we look forward to seeing you in in some of the other courses like uh, retaining walls, walls and steps, if you've got any kinds of slopes, that's a good thing. And there will be um, a deck course that you could take if you wanna learn how to lay out decks in interesting ways. And then a variety of other, other projects are available to you at this point. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Adele with Earthworm Landscape Design.